All the hot hatches are often the first choice for any student's first car. They are affordable to purchase, cheap to maintain, easy to work on and much more fun to drive compared to any plain car. While many live up to their hype, like the German GTI or French GTI, there is still plenty of those which I even didn't know about before. Fiat Tipo Sedici Valvole The Tipo was a revolutionary model for Italians, putting it on a new platform shared with Lancia and Alfa Romeo. Its units varied, though the Sedici Valvole had the most interesting engine from Lancia. The performance was decent, although the Tipo Sedici Valvole was faster than the then sold Golf GTI. Volvo 480 Turbo Being the only Volvo with pop-up headlights, it was a shooting brake before it was even a term. It took 6 years to develop it and the top of the range model, the Turbo, was introduced during its second year on the market. There was a Garrett Turbo on the 1.7 litre engine standing on a partially Lotus design suspension. Seat Ibiza GTI The Ibiza GTI over the time received two different engines, first a 2 litre 8 valve, then a 1800cc with 16 valves. The latter one had 130 horsepower with slightly lower torque, but a nimbler acceleration anyway. There were four wheel disc brakes, more supporting seats and tougher suspension compared to a non-GTI version. MG Maestro Turbo The first Maestro 1600 was rushed and therefore unreliable. The next version with a 2 litre was much better, but it got cool when they installed a T3 Turbo on a SU carbureted 2 litre. It also received a body kit from Dickford, and with a 0 to 62 mph time of 6.7 seconds, there wasn't much faster rivals than the Maestro Turbo. Renault 11 Turbo The Renault 11 was built beside the Renault 9 as its hatchback equivalent. A year later after the reveal, the Turbo model appeared with a turbocharged Cleon Fonte engine producing between 105 to 115 horsepower. The full boost was available from 2500 rpm and its good handling was assured by 4-wheel independent suspension. Fiat Ritmo Abarth 
As the Tipo's predecessor, the Fiat Ritmo did also have a performance-oriented version, dubbed the Abarth. First, it was the 125TC with a single Weber carburetor and 125 horsepower. Then it was reworked with a twin of Solexis, making 130 horsepower. There was a ZF5 speed transmission and optional recaro bucket seat. <laughs> Citroen AX Sport Being in the smallest car segment, the Citroen AX therefore provided a very small dimensions, especially combined with a low weight. It was nothing much to say home about, possibly except for the 1.4 litre diesel, which was incredibly fuel efficient. Oh, it was the Sport version with a twin carbureted 1300cc engine and 95 horsepower. <laughs> Volkswagen Lupo GTI The Lupo was amongst the most economical cars of its time, with its Lupo 3 litre diesel and FSI gasoline versions. But those doesn't matter now, the GTI does, which was said to be the true Golf GTI Mark 1 successor, as the UP GTI now is as well. The engine was shared with the Polo GTI, compared to which it was simply faster. <laughs> 